Hi guys, so it's here. Welcome to another review. So this time I am reviewing NCIS Season 2. Now this was originally aired between 2014 to 2000, not 2014, I mean 2004 to 2005. My bad. This season has 23 episodes. Shall we get started? So basically the season is incredible. We have um, McGee as a um, NCIS special agent now, which is awesome, um, we also have, um, still have, um, Jimmy Palmer, um, and we see Paul Cassidy again, we see the director, and we see that, um, person who, unfortunately, is in the finale, which I will just quickly talk about in a se second, and then, um, Jet Commander. Now, I have not seen any of the Jet, um, series at all. But I'm thinking of actually seeing it. But, other than that, so this season is pretty cool. Um, I like the majority of the episodes. The episodes are great. Um, just having a little look looky-loo. Um... I recommend you go and see the entire season. That's all I can say. All the season because it's really, really quite incredible. Definitely we see with episode 18, which is Bikini Wax. Go watch that. Um, another one I do recommend you seeing is 22 and 23. Because, um... How can I explain these two episodes? Well, one... A big deadly a, a, a deadly um specimen comes to NCIS. Tony o opens it. He's the only one that it's affected by, and um we see how they all are worried about Tony, even though he is what we call a player. But um Michael Waverly plays him so well. A massive credits to you, dude. Um, in episode 23, basically Tony is coming back, he's still not there just yet, and, um, this, this episode is basically goes into season 3, which the storyline goes into, so basically that person that was in last season is back, but is he, is he, is here, to kill Gibbs. So basically, um, director, um, orders him off the case. He's basically on, um, Kate, Caitlin's protection and under everyone else as well. Um, they stop a, um, attack from happening, but unfortunately for Kate, Caitlin, she actually gets killed now. When I first was watching this, I felt really, really, really debbed and asked myself why um she was let go and I wasn't happy, but she needed to get out of her contract just so she can go to other opportunities and that's absolutely fine. But um overall I do like this season. There's a lot of episodes that are amazing. You see Abby Shuto in action and I love her. Um, even though this was Kate and Caitlin Todd's final season on NCIS, it's like with someone else that, in someone else that I love as well, and I'm just going to have a quick mention, this kind of happened with Chum too, with, um, to Shannon Derivy, I, I can't pronounce names properly, but she left the end of season three of Charmed, and I'm sort of devastated. But um, she, um, she did go on to do incredible things, and also with the actress who played um, Caitlin Todd too, she was incredible. Um, she does come for probably some other episodes. She comes in into episodes next season as well that I know of, but um. I do recommend you going to see the season. I recommend you going to. Um, so that's basically it for this season. But but remember, go get seasons one and two, including up to thirteen, which is on sale. Probably, probably not. But giving them a shout out because I love them. But anyway, guys, that's going to be this review. Remember, all that I post on this channel 
down below, all the links to that down below, including all my socials. And I'm gonna keep mentioning this keep mentioning this. Keep going to actually go like me on Facebook because I don't like doing much updates on here because it takes so long to upload. And um yeah, I'll catch you all soon.